Hi, I'm Sophia and today I'm going to be going over the intramuscular injection competency. So first you're going to walk into the room and perform hand hygiene. Um, and then you wait for your professor to assign you your patient. So here I'm choosing my medication, and as you can see that there um, are multiple options for morphine, so we want to go back to our MAR and verify that it's the morphine sulfate um, and the ordered dose, which is 2 milligrams per 2 ml injection. So here I'm going to click the correct medication and hit next. And morphine is a controlled sub substance, and so I'll have to unlock the drawer. And I'll pull my medication out. Sorry. And this is where my first check occurs. I find that this patient that this is the correct patient. So it's for Morgan Ward. Date of birth is 617XX. And now I have my medication. And so um, we're gonna verify that it's morphine sulfate, two milligrams per two mLs, given IM at um, 1400. The sign out of this picks is. And here I have what my uh, supply room would look like. So I would uh, here I'm going to get a 23 gauge, but we have multiple options. And then a syringe needle, band-aid just for bleeding, and a few alcohol um, swabs for uh, cleansing. So now that we've done our first check and pulled the medication, I'm going to introduce myself to the patient and um, verify their name and date of birth. So I'm in. Hi. Hello, I'm Sophia. I'm going to be your nurse today. Um, I'm here to administer some medication. Can I just have you verify your name and date of birth for me? Morgan Ward, 617XX. And then um, it looks like you have an allergy of iodine and shellfish, is that correct? Yes, okay. allergy, shellfish, iodine. So oh. I was informed that you're in pain today? Yes, can't you tell? Can you please rate your um, pain for me, please? Ten. Uh, okay, ten. so 10. Where does it hurt? Ankle. Okay, ankle. What, can you describe the pain for me, please? Uh, aching, sharp. Okay, so now that we have that information, um, we're going to tell the patient what we're administering today. So here, today I'm going to be administering uh, morphine for you. to treat. It's to treat your pain, um, and it's going to be um, intramuscular injection. Uh, have you ever had this medication before? No. Okay. So some signs and symptoms of morphine are you could get lightheaded, um, feeling of dizzy, drowsiness, or um, slower difficulty breathing, okay? Some education is if you're taking an opioid with a uh, benzodiazepine, which is um, like Xanax or something, um, this can increase respiratory depression, and you don't want to drink alcohol while you're on this uh, medication. Um, would you still like to take this medication? Yes, please. Okay. This patient, of what medication that um, uh, he will be receiving, uh, some signs and symptoms of patient education, it's time to move on to my second check. Moving on to my second check. So here I just verified that we have the right patient, which is Morgan Ward, date of birth is 617XX. Um, so now moving on, um, we are verifying the medication, which is morphine sulfate, two milligrams per two mLs, which it's uh, you know it says on the on the medication the vial as well as on the EMR, and it's uh, intramuscular injection, and it's due at fourteen hundred. So after doing my second check, I want to now prepare the medication, and this is before the third uh, medication check. So you perform hand hygiene, and put on some gloves. So now that I have my gloves on, I'm going to um, prepare the medication in the patient's room. So I come here and I open up the syringe and the needle. I attach the syringe and the needle. 
Now I'm prepping the vial. I um, get an alcohol swab and wipe three times away, one, two, three, or whatever your hospital policy is. Um, so the order is two milligrams per two ml, and the uh, vial says two milligrams per two ml, so we're doing the whole vial. And so we do the horizontal, and we draw up two milliliters of air and inject that into the vial. And we turn it over and draw up two milliliters of the medication. And you want to be careful because it's the full vial. So we want to make sure that the needle isn't um, injecting air into the syringe. So we have our dose. And we want to flick for any air bubbles. And so we have two milliliters of morphine. So now we want to recap and we do the scoop method. And let's use this vial for some help. And we recap. Okay, so now that the medication is prepped, I'm going to move on to my third uh, check. So I ha go to the MAR and um, hit administer the medication. And so now I'm gonna have the patient um, verify their um, name and date of birth. And also at this point, um, we have to check respiration rate. So I've already counted the patient's respirations and they are within normal limits. If the respiration rate is um, below 12 uh, respirations per minute, then we will hold the medication and uh, notify the physician. So, all right, Morgan, can I just have you verify your name and date of birth one last time? 617XX, and, Morgan Ward. And can you verify your allergies for me, please? Iodine and shellfish. Okay. All right, so I've scanned the patient's band, and now I'm moving on to um, verifying the medication dose route. Um, so the medication is morphine sulfate, two milligrams per uh, two um, mLs, and it says on our MAR as well, and I've checked um, my syringe, and it, there's two milliliters of morphine in here. Um, it's by intramuscular injection, so it is safe to give, and the pain level has to be one through 10, and our patient stated that their pain pain level is a 10, so it is okay to give. So now I'll, I'll scan the medication since I verified everything. Okay, so that medication is scanned. Now I bring all my supplies to my patient at bedside. And so now um, we have to verify the anatomical landmark that we will be inserting. So today I'm going to insert the morphine into your deltoid. So that it, I lift up the patient's um, sleeve and that's two fingers below the acromial process, so around here. So I want to clean the injection site. So two fingers, and we wipe um, from the inside out. Okay, so I've raised the, the bed and I've uh, put the railing down and this um, injection pad will be just in replace of the patient so I can demonstrate. I uncap the needle and in a darting motion, but first I do the Z-track method and in a darting motion, I'm going to inject the patient with morphine pull it out and insert, um, activate the safety and um, put it in the sharps container. And then I will apply a Band-Aid if there's bleeding to the patient. And after this, I will come back within 30 minutes to reassess the patient to make sure that um, my patient is not um, experiencing any respiratory distress and to see if their pain has improved. So after that, I would ra uh, lift the side rail and lower the bed. And then I would orientate my patient to the call light and ask if they need anything else. Lastly, I will document um, the respiration rate um, and the injection site patient's pain level that they gave me.